One of the things that we talk about with the boys is the supporting angles. We see when they go flat together right now, a lot of time that's when the defenders have success. So we're talking about not getting on flat lines and we're talking about trying to get at angles so that, two, that one defender can't really defend the both of them as well as it opens up those splitting passes, all right? Okay, and relax, good job boys. Uh, gather the balls up, anybody go down? Nobody got 20? Hey, make sure that we focus on our angles of support right now, okay? We're getting flat, I see guys getting flat in and we're getting picked apart by the defenders at that point. So make sure that we're giving good angles of support and now we open up the splits, all right? Next thing that we're gonna do, we'll go into as you play, as soon as you pass, you're making the overlapping run or you're making the run through, okay? Try to keep your activity going. Try to be aware on your movement that you're still providing support to the ball, okay? Off you go, let's go. Make sure that we're filling the space that the players are leaving, boys. Make sure we're filling the space right now. Paxton a bit quicker to get there, come on. Good, well done. Keep it moving, keep it moving. Hey, don't get flat. Massimo, move your feet to get to support. Get it in, get it going. And, and relax. Hey, this group is doing very well. Over here, it's taking a bit too long to get the ball going back in the game, okay? The transition has to be faster. Go ahead, play, let's go. Get it going. Nathan, let's go. Get the ball in, please. So we do have two servers. This oftentimes is ourselves as coaches. Uh, we'll have two extra players that are injured uh, that can still be a little bit helpful. Uh, they, those two guys are responsible to implement the balls. And as you see, this group is going like at a snail's pace compared to that group. And a lot of that has to do with when and how quick the player on the outside is thinking and uh, the, his awareness. So even though he's not involved in the session, his awareness is still being tested. So it's not a bad thing to, to maybe pull. If you have extra players, pull them out, make them implement the ball. Um, but if you have assistant coaches um, and yourselves, it's very easy for you guys to do that as well. So, so there's now getting a, a bit of movement involved. This, ma this makes their decision making have to be that much better. The main focus for me with this is trying to get our players to be interchangeable, okay? So as they play, they're filling space when somebody leaves. You'll see, I wouldn't even watch this group if I was you guys right now. Okay, these guys have it going pretty good. Um, They've got their movement. When somebody leaves a space, somebody's often filling the space. So we can pick apart when they're trying to do that, when they're doing that well, and, and try and identify that for them. Tyler, your movement has to get around them or through the middle. Let's go. Get your movement in. Good, get your movement in. Mike D, you're just walking around the park. Come on, let's go, buddy. Pick it up here. Hey, this is far too slow to get the game going. Good, good, good. Oh, got him. Get it going. Good, Josh. Thank you. Good. Defenders, get together, get connected, get connected. Sammy, you're chasing it. So one of the good things about this type of uh, exercise is that, you know, sometimes you want to focus on one single topic. I, I like to, to hit a variety of topics when I'm doing the training sessions because I feel that um, you know, they've always got to be thinking of every component of the game, okay? Uh, especially with players that are a touch older, it's always good from my 
my perspective, personal opinion, is to give them that the whole game. Don't just give them one small piece at a time because we only get so many to so many hours with the players. So try and clean up everything that's going on. That's my personal per uh, opinion. Might not be the the total opinion of everybody, and that's okay. Um, but you know, you can deal with the two defenders defending in a pair in this if you really want to. Um, you know, just hit on those topics. It's not something that you have to, to beat like a dead horse, but it's something that, uh, you know, if we can clean that up in here, they start thinking that all the time. A little communication, get your movement going. Don't be standing. Don't stand, don't stand, don't walk. Let's go, get your feet moving. Okay, we'll do uh, three passes, we'll do two passes today. Two passes and transition into the open grid, okay? Two passes and transition, make good movements, be aware of what grids are busy, all right? Be aware of the, grid, the, the grids that are busy in this area. Go ahead, off you go, play. Transition. So now we'll start to implement a little movement and transition and trying to open up into a new grid. Right now we'll do two passes just so you can kind of get a little bit of an image. We'll do typically three or four um, on, a, on a normal training session. So they get three passes together and then they can enter any free grid. Okay, they can enter any free grid. And so we'll start to think about our third player movement. Right, our third player movement gets involved. We don't want to see the guy here standing. Right, you see how he's standing in that grid. Nikki, you don't stand in. Hey, not good enough. Let's go, back in that grid, back in that grid. Hey, make the movement real, make the movement real. Timing of your movement to enter in. Now you're off you go. Come on, Moss, body shape. Get your body shape right. So again, this group's decent, this group's okay. Uh, you can see a couple of them, more of our, it's actually a bad thing, more of our central players have poor body shape. Which, what I mean is, if, if I want to play that direction, and I'm facing this direction, obviously you guys know. If I'm just closed out to here, now I can't get that way. I've gotta be, take time to turn and now play. Uh, Massimo is probably one of our most technical players right here, and, and he, he can get out of that, so he, his bad habits are, okay, I can face whatever direction I want, right? Uh, because I'm gonna be tricky and I'm gonna solve it, which is great to be able to do that, but if, if it's a habit, then it becomes, oh no, you know, now it's, at our level, the top end, uh, you, you're gonna get cooked, you know, and then you're gonna give a, give a ball away in the middle of the park and they're gonna be off and running, all right? Hey, and hold up just for a quick moment. Hey, have you guys been there yet? Have you guys been there? Okay, have you been there? Okay, good, off you go. So we're trying to get them, oftentimes when we get going, they'll just go from here to there and back and forth, all right? So. We want them to be getting around this, the area, all right? So they're thinking in two directions. Yeah, go, 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 go. The one thing to point out is we're not letting them go diagonal. We're making them go side, forward or sideways. Get it going. Hey, Justin, get the ball going. Good, good. Quick transition. Change your mind, Moss. Change your mind. Let's go. Clean it up. Clean it up. Good. Everybody down. Five push-ups, both in the same area. Quickly. Justin, your group will start in there. You guys can stay in there, Tyler. Go ahead, play. Let's go. Good, good. Good. Well done to make it big, Nikki. Ah, uh, better first touch. Come on, set yourself up there. Drew, make sure we get in, Drew. 
Don't stand in. Don't stand in. Come on. Hey. Hey, do it again. Do it again. You guys, off you go. Keep playing over there. Hey, listen, this group here, hold up. Tyler, hold up. You guys are good. Keep going. All right. Hey, look, when we transition in, make sure that we get our width straight away and we get good supporting angles, all right? It's getting a little bit, we're receiving in the middle of the grid right now and we're not stretching the area, all right? Make sure the first person in is trying to get big, all right? The, the next two guys, give us our width, all right? Go ahead, off your plate. Good. Make it bigger though. You're, you're, you're selling yourself short. Make it bigger all the way, all the way. So they're actually doing pretty good for considering the speed of the surface, which is good, which, which to me shows that their comfort with the tight spaces. Um, again, this is something that we do in the spring season, we do it nearly every day, all right? Um, and we start off with probably a good 35 to 45 minutes of it, um, and then we'll get into some sort of a gameplay. And I'll show you some gameplay that we do at, at the end there. Let them have some fun. Get in there, Ty. Don't be slow to transition with the group. So one of the things at St. Rose that we try to do is we don't try to play opened up as much as possible, all right? We try to play uh, concentrated as a group um, just so we have numbers advantages. We're looking for numbers advantages in different areas of the park. Um, and, and really, ultimately, if we tried to play wide open, uh, there's probably four or five teams in our conference that would pick us apart and, and they would do so very easily. Um, you know, I think for our strength, it's good because if we're creating technical players and they always have support, they always have options, and it's highly more likely that we're going to be able to keep a little bit of possession and put the opponent defending. All right, so that's kind of what we're trying to accomplish at St. Rose is, is players that can deal with the ball one, players that can make quick decisions, and players that want to work together as a group. The other thing we're trying to create is players that are able to play in multiple positions, okay? This allows a center back to be able to play maybe as a holding midfielder at some point, a holding midfielder to be able to play as an attacking midfielder because they're starting to be a bit more creative. All right, our center forwards maybe being able to play as a winger because they're getting that comfort with the ball. Okay, and relax. Let's get uh, let's get uh, your group, Sammy, and Blues quickly. Quickly, Ty, your group here in this area. Good job, boys. Well done. Ball was moving quick. Good, quick decisions. A lot of good communication. All right. Make sure as we transition, when we get into these areas right now, we're making the game as big as the grid will let us play, but make sure we have good quality support around the ball, concentration around the ball there. Blues in this area, we need a ball on each side, one ball on each side. Yeah, I'll tell you. Okay, so Blues, you're going to enter two, two defenders in, go ahead. Okay, we'll give you six passes as a goal. Six passes as a goal, okay? You guys are on two touch over here. The ball is moving after you pass. You're making an overlapping run or a run through, okay? Keep moving to support the ball. As soon as the Blues either win it or knock it away, Blues, if you win it and keep it, just knock it back to a, to a black and then go, go off, all right? Two blacks, when you lose it, are entering in to defend. This group, so blues win it, they come back in, ball's already going, two blacks are entering in, right? Okay, the blacks need to get a ball, so Nathan, Josh, please help out with them getting a ball back going, all right? Make sure we're not stagnant in the areas. Go ahead, off your play, blacks are in. Get the ball going, two touch. Good, and get your movement going, don't be stagnant. Play and get a move, play and get a move. Work in the grid. Unlucky, off you go. Blacks, get a ball, quickly, quickly, good. Get your movement in, hey, make the passes over there, Blacks, quicker. Oh, 
Unlucky, Spence, unlucky. And move, and move, Ty. Don't get standing still. Don't get standing still. Good. Good. And move. You're standing. You're standing. Don't stand. Don't walk here, boys. Come on, get moving. Good job, bro. Right, good job. Oh, yes. Hey, Black's in the middle, down two. Let's go. Those are two of our defenders, too. Those are two good defenders for us. <laughs> good job. Off you go. Let's go. Paxton, in your back at it. Let's win the ball. Come on. Disrupt it. Good job, boys. Well done. So you see Blues right now. Blues, blues are cheating a bit, right? They're getting away with standing a little bit. They're getting away with not much mobility. So let's see what happens when we do that. And hold up and hold up. Blues, you guys are standing right now, okay? You're having a lot of success because it's too easy. Let's make sure that as soon as we play the ball, we're up either an overlapping run, a movement through, and then we fill those spaces, all right? No standing, no walking. Go, yeah, off you go. Let's go, don't stand, Kyle. Get out of the middle, in and out. Let's go and move, Clarky. Don't stand, Clarky. Okay, so within four passes, you add the movement, and now they're done, okay? So we want them to have success. We want them to feel good. But also, if they feel good in, like, you know, not doing the right things, then it really doesn't help us get better. Quick and move, Tyler. And move, Tyler. And move, Nikki. And off you go. Find the space. Find the space. Get it flat. Good. Good and move. Good, good Paxton. Well played. And move. Play and move, Masi. Play and move. Ah, hard luck. Off you go. Quick defend. Win it back. Good energy. Good energy in here. Work together, Justin. Good. Quick, quick. Erjan, let's get it moving. And get going. Play and go. Play and go. And everything right now has been either one or two touch. Okay, one or two touch. Woo. Danger zone here, you guys, huh? Good job. Get it. Hey, hey. Yeah, yeah, hey. Okay, and you can do a variety of different variations out of this. Obviously, this is, you know, these, any rondo exercises are basically numbers up. And uh, right now we're showing you a lot with two defenders. Um, we'll start to open it up and get a, a different crew of guys so that we get a little bit extras on the outside. Josh, can you get uh, four greens? Four greens. Don't get standing, don't get standing. Ball, Spencer. Let's go, you're standing here, let's go. Get it moving, get the ball zipping. Let's go, play and move, play and move. So this group over here still has to be aware as to when they lose the ball. Because if they're not aware and two defenders come in, then they're going to lose the ball straight away. So it's a, creating awareness, what's going on over here, while they're still performing some technical exercise. It's okay, Drew, come on. So, one of our captains obviously really doesn't enjoy when mistakes are made, which is part of the reason why he's a captain. He's also Scottish, so he's a little angry too. Not if anybody's Scottish here, I didn't mean that in a bad way.
Keep it flat, Philippe. Come on, keep it flat. Take a touch if it's bouncing. Good. And relax. Okay, good job, boys. Well done. Let's get four blues. We'll pick up the middle uh, yellow. We'll get four blues and four blacks. Okay, we need four greens as well. So if you want to play, I would get a green. Quickly, quickly, come on. Okay, extra players are off, so four, just uh, help out with the balls over there, please, guys. So four versus four in the middle. Four green bumpers, one there, one there, one here, one there. Guys, Justin, just be careful of the, the equipment, please. Okay. No, four greens, we're good, we're all set. If you're off, you're off. Hey, Blue's down for two quick push-ups, you can't count. Masha, you on the game? Okay, Blacks, Blacks, two quick push-ups, you can't count either. So we don't have that smart of guys at St. Rose, obviously. All right, four is not a hard number to get to, but that's okay, they're working at it. Okay, so what we have is four bumpers, the green's on the outside, a green here, green there, green here. They can work and be mobile on the side, offering support. So we, they're very much involved. We'll see how good they do as far as are they, are they active, are they involved in the game, or are they a spectator, okay? Hopefully they're active and involved, um, but we'll see, okay? Let's get a ball into the blacks. Greens, you'll be on one touch. Greens are on one. Okay, everybody else is in two. Everybody else is in two. We'll get eight passes as a goal. Eight passes as a goal. All right, we good to go? Off you go, play. No, 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 hold up. Sorry, We're this is possession, no goals are in right now. Yeah, unlucky. Good goal though, great goal. One touch on the edge, one touch on the edge. Get your feet ready. Quick and get it in. Touches, black. Can you get out of the area? Good, not bad. Get it flat here, Nikki. Flatten it out. Good, good touches. Talk to him. Okay, so we've just, we've just opened up a little bit of the space for them. So now they're getting a lot of the running in. Um, giving the supporting players one touch. The players in the middle should know their awareness has to be on. Are they available for the wide players to just, boom, play back in right away? So the Blues were slow, late to get there. Their awareness was not that great in that spot. Good block. Good touches. Off you go. Great. Come on, keep the ball flat. Should be on the ground. Good vision. Okay, and hold up. So Blues, let's get the ball back there. All right, Kyle, come back to the middle. You start with the ball. Kyle, you have the ball facing into Blake. You come back over here, right? Good, perfect, okay? Drew, good. Off you go, all right. So right now, look, because you're coming into his space right now, you take away him as an option, right? So what should you be doing? Yeah, open up, good, open up, all right? Drew's that point player. Now look, as you play back, Drew's playing off of you, right? Because you're not in his way, you make him have to make a decision, all right? Now you can get involved, but you also have Justin, so why is Justin there? Justin, are you there right now? Good, you were just frozen, right? Good, so just bump up because he's taking this space, all right? So now you, together collectively as a group, you're able to cover more of the space, correct? All right, so as you play here, now he's got Arjan, he might be able to play off Drew to Justin to Nikki. all right? So those two options, maybe. All right, off you go, play. Good, good, open up, open up. Yeah, you're too tight. Don't take away that outside play. Can we get eight passes? Who's going to get eight? Did anybody get eight yet? No? 
So only eight passes with a bigger space. You would think that they would be able to do it right now, but a couple of the restrictions are not letting them get there easily. Okay, awareness, Erjan, as soon as you play, you've got to turn your hips. Okay, and you can see they're late now to get to supporting areas. And hold up, hold up, hold up. So let's get the two bu the bumpers on two touch. Okay, the bumpers are on two touch. Listen, why are we having no success right now? The communication level is not good, but I would say the supporting angles are not quick enough. You're not there offering yourself. You're thinking, Tyler, Spencer, Kyle, Erjan, you're thinking, I get the ball. Can I have it? All right. You're thinking you want the ball here from Blake. Okay, where that's not going to solve any issues for us. Okay, that's going to help him defend the both of us. Ultimately, the black will win the ball. All right, we've got to do a better job of covering the areas, getting to the supporting areas quicker. Okay, let's go. See if we can get it done. Who can get eight? Who can get eight? Change out. Change out if you need. Okay, somebody go in. Go ahead, Sammy. Take care, John, out, all right? And move, Tyler. It's got to be quicker. Air touches. Go take him. Arizona, you're off. Delicious. Let hey, put Sammy on, please. Go ahead. Put Sammy on, please. Thank you. Sorry, Justin. No middle player, Philippe. Come on. Take a touch. You've got no pressure there. Take a touch. Okay, so frustration setting in right now. This is a great time to try and see if we can pull together their spirits a little bit, right? I always hammer them down, but if we can get them collectively wanting to work back together, they're going to have success. Sometimes they'll figure that, that out on their own too, which is even better. So I'll let it go and see if they can solve it a little bit. And then if they can't, hopefully I can give them maybe some encouragement. And you're just looking at them, Tyler. You're taking, hey Ty, stop staying still, hold up. So look, where you've taken up your space is too close to him, right? What are you gonna do if he plays to you? You're in the middle of these two defenders. You're gonna have to play right back and then they take it. All right, as soon as, stop looking at them, see what's going on around. Your awareness has to pick up, okay? Hey, listen, collectively as a group, we're, we're traveling well together, but we're not covering areas in this area, all right? To, well together, we're, we're just very close, all right? Inside of the defenders right now. So try and get yourselves in the gaps, in the windows. Go ahead, off you go. Masi, be aware of Justin, he's right behind you. It's a great giveaway, you know, that's, Good. So his awareness there, right? He, what we were talking about before. Back, back has no clue what's going on behind him. Let's go and get it going. Open up, Ty. Don't be so close. Philippe, get out of the. And there's a. They can, yeah. Bumper to go. Bumper to bumper is fine. Yeah. Good, talk to him, Justin. So, some of these players might not be with us next year based upon their performance. And that's a fair value. It's real, so that's okay. You might be able to pick those out too, so if you have any ideas, just let me know. Play, 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 get it in and play. Get it in and play. Too close, freeze, stop, stand still. Philippe, okay. Kyle, can you take Felipe out? Look, you're, you're standing right next to the player that's your partner. You're taking Nikki right out of the game by being one foot away from him, all right? Come on, play. Get yourself covering the areas. Spencer, be alive, 
Be alive. Connect. Be in a window here. Be in a window. Open up. Good. Good. Why not Justin? Good. Good. Play. And where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? Good. Touch. Keep it moving. Where is the space? Good. Get your feet going, Drew. Good. Good job. Easy. Well done. Good job. Good job. Hey. There's a black. Clarky, take off your uh, blue. Take off Paxton. Good. So now they have the blues connected and they're starting to go away from the areas. As I say it, they don't do it. But the, the, the group of four defenders are working together and as they pull them into an area, they're starting to do a little bit better at trying to get to the opposite sides or the areas that are free. What's on? Yep, yep, blues, blues. Come on, Nikki. Good. Where's your advantage? Where's your advantage? Good. Get it flat. Good job. Good job. Good job. Not bad. And win. And play. And play. What's around you? What's around you? Good. Okay. Very good. Okay. So, guys, as you started to go there, what was the difference towards the latter part of it? More space. Why was there more space? The movement was better. What about our decisions do you think made space for our players? It was a simple passes. What about the, the location of the defenders? I was trying to walk you there, but you know, I didn't get them there. All right. So the defenders were, were working hard together as a group and our passes were easier passes that were changing to where we had advantage, numbers advantage, right? We were playing before two versus three or two versus four and trying to play in those areas and the defenders had you blocked in. Now you're able to find the gaps through to where maybe it's a three versus zero, okay? Or a three versus one. And that's where you're feeling the success, all right? Do you agree or disagree? Agree, good, all right? Off you go, play. We'll play this one more minute. Can you keep that going though? Can you keep it going? So really, one thing that we're working on is that awareness because they don't know why they're successful. Ooh, good shot, okay? They don't know why they're successful. They're not thinking about the opponent right now. They're thinking about technique, which is good because we, we want them to think their technique is very important, but they've got to start to think about where's the ball need to go in relation to our numbers, so where do we have the advantage? Do we have a four versus two someplace that we can expose, all right? Do we have a three versus one? So right now they're closing the field, okay? Open the field up a bit, guys. Attacking team, open it up. Masi, don't get sucked in. Go ahead, play. Good, play and open up. Tyler, make your movement. It's a bit ambitious, inside. Good, and play, where are you off to? What's next? Good. Good, what's next, Tyler? Good, great job. Uh, keep it going, keep it going. So that was fantastic. That's the image that we're looking for. All right, Tyler, one of our young players that did very well for us. Extremely athletic, he's a local guy. Um, when he came in, he's not technical at all. Um, doing very well. He could be a big player for us probably in the next year or two. He scored three goals for us, two game winners. Um, actually helped us get into the playoffs because of a 15 seconds left we scored two goals this year um, with 17 seconds or less to allow us to win two games, which is pretty crazy. I've never been a part of that before, but pretty exciting, but that's why my hair is going back and my, I'm getting gray as well too, so. Good, and relax, relax, okay. So let's get uh, two of the greens go back to blue, two of the greens go to black. Nikki, you go to black. Okay, we'll give you guys uh, two bumpers on the high end. All right, what's that? 
Uh, yeah, 4v4 plus the two bumpers. Let's go. So the bumpers will be on the high side of your team. So Blues, Drew, if you're a bumper, you guys will be. We'll play the two wide goals. Okay. Clarky, you're on the field. Okay, no, that's fine. Erjan, bumper. Erjan, top bumper. Okay, and relax. Blacks, please. Blacks can play into black, all right? You guys, blacks are attacking these two bumpers. Shrink that just a touch, all right? Erjan, you don't need a green. Blues are playing to blues. Mike D, can you take him off, please? Go ahead, get off, all right? As we go, all right, blues, if you play into a bumper, you have to replace, all right? Replacement of the bumpers will let you play free, free limits on touches, so whatever you want to play, all right, there's no limits. Try and play in two, try and play in two. Keep the ball moving. Listen, it doesn't have to get into the bumper right now before you can get a goal. You can get the goal straight away, but use them as your advantage. Go ahead, play. Hey, Nick, Nick. So one of the things about uh, our level, the beauty of this level is that you get to hold them accountable, all right? Sometimes in the club scene, you don't get to do that because everybody wants to make their kids feel great. They want to make sure that their kid's not going to someplace else. So a lot of things, probably my most frustrating thing is, is that if you can't be real with a player and what they need to do, then how are we gonna develop those players, okay? So the fear of them leaving, if that player is gonna leave, you know what, so be it. If you've tried to give them the right information, let them go someplace else if they wanna just be patted on the back all the time, okay? And I know that's easier said than done, but as coaches, we have to try and hold that standard or else the kids don't progress. And hopefully educating the players and the parents on that is something that we do consistently. Masi, just do it in two though, bud. Do it in two. So we've given them two bumpers on their attacking end. Okay, we're asking them if they play into them, they have to fill them. Kyle, you have to fill. Okay, so one of the things that we can do with this, obviously the spacing might not be appropriate right now, so I could take off a player, so it's 3v3 plus the two bumpers, or I could just make a center goal on either side and have the two bumpers out around the edge, okay? Um, one of the things that we do, we train a lot of small-sided in the spring because of the rapid touches that they get. The, uh, as you play in, and that player has to play to a third player, okay? So you're starting to get a third player movement involved. Them thinking, the bumpers thinking as a target player, so maybe that's a center forward, two center forwards, all right? Or maybe it's two center backs that you're trying to train, okay? Those players, um, they're playing back to, you know, kind of back to the field or back to the goal. Um, if I play into Kyle, who's there, he has to think where can he go because he can't come right back to me, all right? And now we've got a little movement. You could also make, so something that we've been starting to do is you can make the two bumpers have this in this zone, okay? Just hold up just one second, just want to paint a picture, okay? So we could have two bumpers, one here, one there, and one there and one there, and they have to use these guys so that maybe they have to play in, and now they're thinking getting above the player that's laying it off, okay? So instead of having these guys be the highest players, we could think about having them in here, kind of working in this area, right? And then play in, and then think of player, a third player making the run in behind. But we'll keep it at this to keep it simple. All right, off you go, play. And as I said, I like to hit a lot of different areas and try and get the total game in our sessions because of the frequency and the repetition of it. But if you're trying to focus on one topic with your team for a session, okay, any of these exercises will expose any topic that you want to address, pretty much. I say that kind of freely, but um, you can find your coaching points on any topic, not any, I won't say that, on most topics in this type of uh, a rondo type progressions. Come on, Nikki, can you leave it on the ground, bud? So we have two guys, Nikki and Massimo, I was talking about, they're both pretty technical guys, and they always like to do that. You know, they want to find the hard pass, which is good. You don't want to dis discourage that all the time, but most of the time you want them to keep it nice and short and sharp. 
Good, Nikki, that's better. Spence, you have a clue. Spence, you're just on a train track. Come on, buddy. Good effort, good effort, good effort. One more if you want. Good, get there, get there. Mike D, be involved in the game, well played. Drew, you're off. Right. No, 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 up high, up high, up high. You played to Kyle, yeah? Good, good. Any questions that I could answer while they're going? We only have a, probably a couple more minutes, I think, here. So uh, anything that I can answer. I'll obviously, if you'd like to, if you have some questions, I, I can, I'd be more than happy to chat with you. The other thing is, um, is if you have like a notebook, I'll give you my email address, and I'd be more than happy to send you um, the session plans. I'll send you both session plans that I'm, that I'm gonna be doing today um, in kind of a nice, fun little format for you so you have basically what's going on from an image standpoint of progressions and uh, all that stuff. My email is firsttouchsoccerusa at gmail.com. And like I said, I'd be more than happy to send over a PDF. Ooh, good, good goal. Can you solve it together? Can you solve it? <clears throat> unlucky, unlucky. Okay, good job, boys. So let's just get a cool down. Let's pick up the area, please. Let's get all the balls picked up, guys that are out. Uh, pick up the area. Guys, if you would, just have a, a, a just quick walk in. Once the area is clean, let's just get the balls over there. Actually, players that are injured or out, please just you, you deal with the gear. Everybody else, come on over here. Okay, guys, come on over. Just have the white or the yellow line and yeah, face your crowd. Good job. All right, so. Just uh, obviously these guys worked hard and uh, they really made the session go for, for myself and hopefully for you to paint a picture. Um, these guys have been working extremely hard and uh, you know obviously we, ha not obviously, but we have a ga uh, spring games tonight. So I asked them if they could do a little bit extra to get some extra touches in and I was very pleased with the, the effort that they put forth today and I uh, thought they did a good job considering surface and uh, you know the, the power balls that we're working with, okay? So great job guys and thank you guys.